Welcome to another episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. That is just brilliant. Okay, moving straight on. If you want to have your designs submitted for this series that I do every Saturday at 5 p.m., London time, then the link is in the description. You just have to submit some of your design, one of your designs, I should say, to me, and hopefully it will get featured in an episode. Thank you so much for that. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Just, you know, pummel that subscribe button. Hit the like button so that more people can view these videos. I am desperately trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. It's super difficult. Let me put it out there. It's really hard. And by liking the video, subscribing, it's going to help more people come in and hopefully, hopefully help me get to that goal. So let's get straight into it. Let me record my screen. We are good to go. I just wanna quickly tell you the three categories. I'm going to tell you what I think of the design. I'm going to tell you what I think about the targeting of the design, and then I'm gonna tell you improvements of the design. These three categories kind of get jumbled up in the critiquing process, but you know, I'll try my best anyways. So the first design, toddler plus crayons equals a rainbow emoji poo. This is actually really cute. Firstly, that is a, an adorable, adorable kid, big blue eyes. But besides that, um, it's really, really, really cute t-shirt. Um, and it's so true. Now, I don't know if you're allowed to use the emoji sign. Is that going to be copyright? I don't think it's going to be copyrighted, is it? Surely not. Surely not. Well, look, I think if it's allowed to be used, I love it. Toddlers plus crayons equals colorful poo. Literally, it does equal colorful poo. And I think that's really, really funny. I love it. You're targeting parents who have kids, you know, between the ages of two and five, maybe. Six is probably a bit too old at that point, but two and five is pretty good age. Um, you could probably make, um, well, to be honest, you're targeting toddlers. It just says it right there on the t-shirt. Come on, shimmy. I was going to say you can make baby grows, but I realized this is not for babies. It's for toddlers. Like, really? Um, so yeah, that's pretty, really cool. In terms of improvements, I don't think there are any improvements. Maybe make the poo emoji just a tad smaller um, and maybe make an equals because there's no equals. Um, but I really like it. I think it's pretty cool. So well done. Moving on. Oops, my pride is showing. And then you've got the, the pride flag. Um, um, why is that oops? Why is it oops, my pride is showing? Why is it a bad thing? For your pride to be showing I mean unless you're like in the closet and you don't want anyone to know why is it a bad thing to express who you are so I I, hmm, I don't really agree with the shirt just because I don't like the oops ah my pride is showing ah what does that mean that's not a thing um the whole idea of this is you want it to be showing you want to flaunt it you want everyone to see so I don't really get this t-shirt unless maybe I'm missing something, something that happened in the news. I don't know. Um, apologies if that's the case. But in terms of targeting, no idea who you target. Maybe target people who are not out, if that makes sense. But then, then would they wear this? I don't know. I don't understand. Um, moving on swiftly. I don't understand the design. I would scrap it to this design. Plant-based human. Let me zoom in a bit on that so we can see. I like the plant base. I like this. This is, I assume, for vegans, you know, vegetarians, that kind of thing. It's a cool design. And um, actually, my um, brother's girlfriend has got an Instagram called Plant Based Physio. So plant based is definitely a term that people use a lot. Um, I do think it's really, really cool. I like, I like the plant and the base. I like that whole section. What I don't like, unfortunately, is the human bit at the bottom. Why is it so small? tiny hard to read like different font is that even a different font yeah it's a different font i just what why why can't it all match and, and look like that and maybe also incorporate some plants but other than that i mean it's a good idea the the, the saying is good just maybe change the the overall design in terms of targeting you know who you're targeting you're targeting vegans you know vegetarians that kind of thing Anything climate change probably is pretty good. Um, and yeah, just maybe change the design a bit. Right, moving on. America, thumbs up. Really? Come on, whoever designed this, ask yourself, would someone comfortably wear this on their shirt? To be honest, I think Americans would wear this. I don't know. 
Um, as a UK citizen, I would never wear anything that said that had a UK flag that said United Kingdom or Great Britain or England. But I think people in America are a lot more patriotic than we are, um, a lot more. And I remember driving through America, there are flags everywhere. So that kind of, I make, that makes sense. Um, and I guess leading up to the whole political races and all of that kind of stuff, this design makes sense. I just think it's so broad and I don't know who would wear it and it's not centered. Just, ah, okay, when I click out, I see the white vote America bit. That's important. I feel like I've missed out on other ones. This kind of changes it. Right, vote America. Um, that makes it even more confusing. Who votes America? You vote for someone, don't you? I'm not thick, am I? But now I understand the placement of America, why it's at the side, not in the middle. Um, look, I'm being honest, I don't like the design. I don't know who you would target. I would scrap it, but I mean, you're welcome to go for it. Moving on. Dogs leave poor prints on our hearts. Aww, that's cute. That's cute. I like the font a lot. I like the whole design. I like the saying. I like the design. I like the placement. I like the paw prints. I like it all. Not that I'm a dog person, but the font is the same except dogs and hearts bolded. Well done. Good graphic design work. The placement all down the middle. Excellent. The saying very cute very very cute targeting easy people who like dogs target dog shelters dog lovers dog anything you're sorted the paw prints perfect maybe move one so it's like that so you've got at the moment it's like this maybe move one so it's like that but other than that uh, it's a brilliant design there's not much else i need to say no improvements can be made it's very good well done hang on give me a moment to overthink this I'm taking that moment to overthink this. One minute. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, hang on, shouldn't that have a third dot there? Usually it's dot, 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 not dot, dot. Anyway, I don't know. Give me a moment to overthink this. Is this a famous saying? Is this something that's going on? Is this something I'm missing out? I don't know. Um, I like the design. I don't know why it's blurry. Is it just me? Yeah, I remember seeing this on the computer. It's a blurry design, so you want to try and fix that. Hurting my eyes just a tad. I have no idea who you're targeting for this. Absolutely no idea. So there's that. But I mean, I like the font a lot. I like that he overthinks in a different font and I like how it all ties together. And um, the spacing is not quite there. The, this on the bottom line is too close to the next line compared to all the other lines being spaced out. The placing on the chest is good though. And um, if you know who you're targeting, then well done. I don't know who you're targeting, but those are the improvements. I would make. All right, moving on. Skate land on brand. Okay, well, firstly, let's start with the graphic. This is a super cool graphic. I mean, as someone who likes skateboarding, as someone who knows skateboarders, they would wear this. This is grunge. This is cool. This is really, really cool. It's like very comic strip style. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. I like the fact that it says skate with an eight. Cool, dude. Um, no, it's, it's a very cool design. You've placed it right. Is that meant to say London brand or is it meant to say land on brand? If it's meant to say land on, please tell me what that means. I don't know what that means. Is it a skater term? I don't know. If it's meant to say London, then get on that and fix it. Um, but in terms of your targeting, you're targeting skaters. Really simple. You can target skateboard brands. You can target skateboarders. You can target even people who aren't skateboarders, like people who scooter, rollerblade, bike, that kind of stuff, and BMX. But it's a cool t-shirt. Um, just double check the London or London, I don't know. Um, make sure that's right. But other than that, it, it's really cool. I like it, so well done. All right, moving on. My favorite exercise is between a lunge and a crunch. I call it lunch. <laughs> Even he's laughing. It's so cute, it's so funny. It's brilliant, it's brilliant. Okay, so, okay. There are improvements here. I don't know who you're targeting because it's hard to target. This is so broad, but it is funny. So I guess your tags can be funny or joke or anything like that. And maybe you'll get sales like that. The saying is brilliant. My favorite exercise is between a lunge and a crunch. I call it lunch with a picture of a pizza. Perfect. What I would change is the whole design. You've got one, two, three, four, 
five, six fonts. You've got three colors. You've got different boldness. You've got a weird looking pizza. But the fact that I said you've got six fonts just shows you have too many fonts. This is a really good design. And if you are not capable of being able to design it yourself, pay someone on five to design this for you. Make it really, really good because it's a solid, solid design. So well done. I love this design. It's hilarious. I would actually buy this for a friend. Genuinely, I would buy that for a friend. Right, moving on to this Gorilla Skateboarding Tee. It's quite cool. It really is quite cool. Um, I like it. I mean, is this just taken from Place It? Be honest with me. Did you change anything? If you didn't change anything, then maybe change a few things so it's a bit more unique. But I do like it. It's placed very well. Maybe tiny, tiny bit higher on the chest. The actual design is really cool. You're talking, again, skateboarders, grunge, skaters, uh, rollerbladers, scootering people, BMX people, that kind of thing. Um, don't target gorillas, they don't buy clothes, but it's really, really good. Um, I do like the design. It's, it's, it's a good piece of graphical art, so nice. Really, really nice. Real men don't wear gloves. That is a creepy man in the middle. Is that an alien? Is that a monster? Interesting. Um, I love the font of real men. Really, really good font. Why don't you use that font for the bottom? Why have you gone with this army stamp font? Don't change the font. Um, stick with the real men font. And also, you see how the real men font's gone up a bit? So make the don't wear gloves the same, but just curve it, invert the curve just a tiny bit and have it at the bottom. And then it change that guy in the middle. What is going on there? He looks like he doesn't look like a real man. He looks like he's taken so many steroids. His face has actually become deformed to look like something that's been run over eight times by a semi and then stamped on by the Hulk. And then it looks like he's giving birth out of his mouth. Was that graphic enough? Because that's what it looks like change that guy on the front, do something much more zoomed in. The weights are good, that's fine. But other than that, it's a brilliant design. You'll target, I guess, you know, anyone, actually not anyone, you wouldn't target anyone in the fitness industry because saying real men don't wear gloves, you'll target people who don't wear gloves and that's not that common because it's very normal to wear gloves, especially when you're lifting weights. Or if not gloves, you know, the, um, the chalk. So target probably bodybuilders, that kind of niche. Ooh, I'm just looking. What is going on? I don't like anything about this. I don't know who you're targeting. I don't even want to give you improvements. This is creepy AF. I'm really sorry for just bashing your design, but I have no clue what is going on here. This is really, really, really creepy. Um, Yeah really creepy. I'm going to move on because it's just creeping me out. All right. Last design. We're 14 minutes in. I catch them every year. You just need a beer. Is this three niches? You've got fishing, aliens, and beer. Why? What is the connection? It's so random. You catch them every year, you just need a beer. I feel like that can be like a song. You catch them every year, you just need a beer. It's a good catchphrase. But what are you catching? You catching the beer? Why is there just a the house in the woods with grass? What is going on here? You're hurting my brain with this design. I don't understand what's going on. Um, the individual graphics, the font, I catch them every year, you just need a beer. The font is spot on, great font. The alien bit, spot on with the fishing, great. The house is weird. Don't know why that's there, get rid of that. Um, if you go to the house and you move the you just need a beer all the way up so that the fishing rod goes past the you just need a beer and it's a bit lower, that could be cool. I would like that a bit more than this. So you know you have, I catch them every year, aliens, fishing rod down here, and then you just need a beer and the fishing rod goes past it. Um, but I still don't know who you would target. It just doesn't seem like it has any any form of targeting. That is it for today's 
episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? I hope you like them. I hope you like the new format. If I didn't get to your design, don't worry. I get hundreds of emails every single week. So hopefully I will get to your design next week or in a future episode. And don't forget you can submit designs if you haven't already or if I've already done one of your designs and you want to submit a new one, you can do it with the first link in the description. Well, not the first link in the description, but the link in the description. It's right there. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the thumbs up button, smash the share button, smash the share button, smash the subscribe button, smash all the buttons. Just start smashing away at your keyboard, basically. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.